एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग्स और एंटी कन्वल्सेंट्स आर यूज इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एपिलेप्सी एपिलेप्सी और सीजर्स रिजल्ट फ्राम एपिसोडिक एलेक्ट्रिकल डिस्चार्जेस इन सेरेब्रल न्यूरोन्स एसोसिएटेड विद प्रोलॉन्ग डीपोलराइजेशन ड्यूरिंग विच सस्टेन्ड हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी रेपिटेटिव फायरिंग अकर्स फॉलोड बाय प्रोलॉन्ग हाइपर पोलराइजेशन नाउ और गोल इन ड्रप थेरेपी विल बी टू सप्रेस द रेपिटेटिव एक्शन पोटेंशियल्स इन द एपिलेप्टिक फोकाई ऑफ द ब्रेन एंड टू रिस्टोर द नॉर्मल पैटर्न ऑफ एलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी Now the mechanism of actions of different anti-epileptic drugs are different. Some are sodium channel blockers. Others act via GABA receptor or GABA molecule. Some act on calcium channels in the thalamus and others act on potassium channels and NMDA receptors. The sodium channel blocking is actually rate dependent. that is it depends on the frequency of the neural discharge and results in prolongation of the inactivated state of sodium channel and thus stabilize the membrane the drugs which act on this uh, receptor and inactivate the sodium channel at therapeutic concentrations are phenytoin carbamazepine lamotrigine and zonisamide while the drugs which do this at higher doses are valproic acid and phenobarbital which is a barbiturate the next types of anti epileptic drugs can act on different gaba related targets they do this to accentuate the action of gaba and thus promote the inhibition of neurotransmission they can act on gaba a receptors they can also act on gaba transaminases which actually degrades gaba so these drugs will inhibit this enzyme they can also inhibit gaba amino transferase which is also a degradative enzyme of gaba they enhance the action of glutamic acid decarboxylase they can increase gaba release and also inhibit the reuptake of gaba now coming to these drugs individually we know that on the gaba a receptor the duration of the chloride channel opening is increased by barbiturates that is phenobarbital while the frequency of chloride channel opening is increased by benzodiazepines the gaba transaminase which is a degradative enzyme of gaba is inhibited by sodium valproate gaba amino transferase is also a degradative enzyme of gaba and it is inhibited by vigabatrin and sodium valproate The glutamic acid decarboxylase is a rate limiting enzyme in the synthesis of GABA which is enhanced by sodium valproate. Increased GABA release is due to gabapentin and decreased reuptake of GABA is due to tiagabine. Another way to inhibit neurotransmission is to decrease the calcium influx from the presynaptic uh, neurons. in the thalamus because these t type calcium channels are very abundant in the thalamus and the thalamic neuron really acts as a pacemaker to generate these rhythmic cortical discharges the drugs that act by this mechanism are ethosuximide valproic acid gabapentin and phenytoin lastly Some anti-epileptic drugs act on the potassium channels and cause hyperpolarization. These drugs may be uh, valproic acid and the others might inhibit NMDA receptors of glutamate and these drugs are felbamate and topiramate. Let's see the clinical uses of these anti-epileptic drugs and the types of seizures that uh, they are specific for treating. Seizures can be divided into generalized and partial seizures. Generalized seizures are further divided into GTCS or generalized tonic-clonic seizures, absence seizures, myoclonic seizures, and partial seizures can be divided into simple partial seizures and complex partial seizures. Now in generalized tonic-clonic seizures, the electrical discharge will in- instantaneously uh, involve the whole brain on the both sides and there will be loss of consciousness as well. The drugs used in GTCS are 
carbamazepine, lamotrigine, phenytoin, valproic acid, topiramate, and gabapentin. Absent seizures are thought to start in the thalamus because we know that thalamus is the relay center and an on-off switch for the um, cerebral cortex. So it will cause a person to blank out or stare into space. The chief drug that will be used in absent seizures is ethosuximide, but other drugs such as clonazepam, valproate and lamotrigine can also be used. Myoclonic seizures manifest as brief shock-like jerks of a muscle or a group of muscles and the patient is awake during the attack. Drugs used are valproate, clonazepam and lamotrigine. Now the partial seizures actually arise in a small part of the brain. The simple partial seizures will affect a small part of the brain, a small loci and there is no loss of consciousness in simple partial seizures. The drugs used are carbamazepine, sodium valproate, phenytoin, lamotrigine, gabapentin and topiramate. The complex partial seizures are the seizures which arise in one lobe of the brain and the chief difference between simple partial seizures and complex partial seizures is the loss of consciousness. Simple partial seizures have no loss of consciousness while there is impaired awareness of the surroundings in the complex partial seizures. The drugs involved are carbamazepine, valproate, phenytoin, lamotrigine, gabapentin and topiramate. Coming to the chemical classification of anti-epileptic drugs, first are hydantoins. They are basically the products of glycolic acid and urea. They involve the chief drug is phenytoin while phosphenytoin is a prodrug of phenytoin which is converted into phenytoin by phosphatases. Phenytoin will block the propagation of seizure. The mechanism of action is already described. It is basically an inducer of cytochrome P450. One thing you need to remember about phenytoin is its non-linear kinetics. When phenytoin is used in the treatment of epilepsy, at low doses it will follow first order kinetics and a constant fraction of the drug will be eliminated per unit time. But when the enzymes required for the elimination are saturated, then it will shift from first order kinetics to zero order kinetics and then a constant amount of the drug will be eliminated per unit time. So if this uh, drug is not carefully monitored in the blood and used in the treatment of epilepsy, what will happen that once the kinetics change to zero order at high doses, an increase in dose will result in marked increase in plasma concentration of phenytoin and thus lead to phenytoin toxicity. Phenytoin is also highly plasma protein bound. Two side effects that you need to remember for uh, phenytoin are gingival hyperplasia and hirsutism. They can also be uh, causing hypersensitivity reactions. The osteomalacia can occur because phenytoin also needs hydroxylation for its metabolism while vitamin D for its activation also needs hydroxylation. So both of them will compete for this and decreased in active uh, form of vitamin D can cause osteomalacia. Megaloblastic anemia is also a side effect because it inhibits GI enzymes required for the uptake of uh, folic acid and vitamin B12. It is teratogenic with cleft lip and cleft palate as the chief um, teratogenic effects. The barbiturates which can be used as anti-epileptics include phenobarbitone or phenobarbitol. The benzodiazepines used can be lorazepam, diazepam, clonazepam and clobazam. The next class of anti-epileptic drugs are immunostilbenes. The chief drug is carbamazepine. The other drug, oxcarbamazepine, is an analog and a prodrug of carbamazepine. Carbamazepine acts the same way phenytoin does by blocking the sodium channels and stabilizing the membrane. It blocks propagation of seizures. It is also an inducer of cytochrome P450 and even induces its own metabolism. It is the drug of choice for trigeminal, uh, trigeminal neuralgia and any sort of neuropathic pain basically because of its membrane stabilizing effect. It is highly plasma protein bound and it can also be used uh, in the bipolar
disorder in the manic phase of the bipolar disorder. The side effects include osteomalacia and megaloblastic anemia just like phenytoin because of decreased folate absorption. Steven Johnson syndrome can occur and manifest as exfoliative dermatitis. It also increases ADH secretion and can lead to dilutional hyponatremia and edema. Its teratogenic effect is probably due to the decreased absorption of folate, thus leading to spina bifida. Oxcarbamazepine is the prodrug. It has less enzyme-inducing properties, less toxic and also less potent. The next anti-epileptic drug is a carboxylic acid derivative sodium valproate or simply valproic acid. Its mechanism is similar to that of phenytoin, but it also blocks T-type calcium channels in thalamus and thus can be used in absent seizures as well. It is an inhibitor of cytochrome P450 and thus causes buildup of other chemicals. The side effects can include hepatotoxicity from its toxic metabolite, pancreatitis and alopecia are very important uh, side effects of valproate. It can also cause teratogenicity, uh, that is spina bifida. The side effects can be remembered by the word valproate, V for vomiting, A for anorexia, L for liver toxicity, P for pancreatitis, R for rashes, O for orofacial abnormalities, A for alopecia, T for ter teratogenicity, and E for elevation of liver P450 enzymes. The next anti-epileptic is a succinamide derivative, ethosuccinamide, and it is chiefly used for absent seizures because of its mechanism of action that is blocking T-type uh, calcium channels in the thalamus and thus can be used in absent seizures. Lastly, the newer anti-epileptics include zonisamide, lecosamide, topiramate, and lamotrigine. They can be remembered by the mnemonic zoni lact top lamozine. Zoni is a person who doesn't have the top limousine. That's all for anti-epileptics or anti-convulsants.